welcome back to another episode with Explore by Adventure. We are actually on our way down south, down to a place called Broom's Head, where we've got a mate that's tagging along, Matt from Matt's Borix Pool Drive Adventures. Um, yeah, so we're just making our way down to Broom's Head, going to stay in the lookout, do a couple of tracks. I did a track last year, about 12 months ago, with another mate, and it took us all day and we didn't even get to finish it. It took us six hours, our recording set, and it was half, not even halfway of the track. So we're going to attempt it again. Got a different car this time to what I had last time. I'm going to stay, out, stay at this lookout. And it's just rained for the past two days. 45 mil of rain. We haven't been camping for a while. We went camping last weekend just as like a little getaway, but we haven't done any four-wheel driving in ages. This is gonna be the first time we've done any hard four-wheel driving in this car. Yeah, it will be actually. How long have we had this car for? Um, we've had this for 12 months. No, 10 months. Yeah. 10 months and we haven't done any hard four-wheel driving. We've done so a lot of touring sort of stuff. I'm excited to do some bog holes and stuff. That's like my favourite type of bog holes. I hate bog holes. You're my favourite. Because my old data gets fucked every time. Yeah, without fail. And I'm the one that has to fix it. Yeah. It's alright, I've mastered to get the old data in and out within 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it that many times. Say the word that we should do more. <laughs> You've mastered it so much. Oh well. I finished work at about 11 o'clock and spent there and headed straight down. It'll be good weather tonight too. It's not too cold. Partly cloudy, as the phone says. This is not Alrighty, just stared down, making our way up to the lookout. Taking Maddie and our pad up to the tracks. Oh, let's turn this around. Keen? You! Keen as. Uh, you! <laughs> gonna be fun. Ready to go. Seen a tractor drive past before. Hopefully, we don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> Righto. We're just doing this ridge track along, just up the road from our campsite. We're gonna do this ridge track, so we don't have to do it tomorrow. But Matt, in his Hilux, there's this hill, and it is, I mean, they call it V steep, or very steep, and it is steep, like, and it's wet, clay, and everything. Matt's got no lockers, he's got all-terrain tires on his car, and absolutely smashed it, hey. We had to winch up after it, but fuck, he's, 
his attempt at that was good, hey? It was really good. Oh, but like, like, it was like that good. He was roving the shit out of it. Like, we had to stop him to winch because we thought we were going to break a CV. Yeah, the main tracks <laughs> are tomorrow. And I was just like, nah, we've got to cut it there. He could have got it. He would have got it eventually. But. We just didn't want to do any damage, especially when we got with the tracks hey, that we got tomorrow. It's a bog holes tomorrow. Like, there's so many bog holes tomorrow. It's really swampy where we're going tomorrow, so it's like you need all the traction and yeah, support everything. you can get. <laughs> oh. oh, that was cool. I'm very impressed by how yeah. you handled that. Oh, that <laughs> helped really impressed. Too. It gave me a lot of anxiety. You can see on the smile on my face how like stoked <laughs> and how good he handled that track. He handled it so well. Not a care in the world, eh? Nah. He's like, oh well, if I don't do it, I don't do it. No, I'll give everything a go once. I'd do it, but yeah, but like, if he broke his CV, it's just like, how the fuck are we gonna get you off this hill? Yeah. Because <laughs> we can't win you. I'll do it, but I'm too top heavy, and I'll shit myself. Too many mems, hey. Yeah. Close to the heart, flipping the car. The old flipperoo, they call it. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, we're getting the winch out. He's had a good crack at it. By the main tracks tomorrow, so we don't want him breaking something before the main track, but this is steep. Look at him. He's just slipping. <laughs> you might have to get the arm. Um, Steve with the fruitcake. I'll get the extension. How do you feel? Awesome there, that was good. Good fun, eh? Hey? Fun, bit slippery there. Yeah, it okay. was. It was just a couple of rocks that was yeah. holding you up. And right where them rocks are, it's just oh. a bit Yeah. Fuck yeah. So we've got to camp, back to camp. Done a few tracks, did the ridge track, made our way back, starting to fire. Yeah, I think she's getting a mattress in there. Um, what same thickness is that? 75. 75? Oh, yeah. How did you sleep, baby? Yeah. It was freezing cold, but... Was it? Yes. Alrighty guys, day two, now we're going to hit the main track, <laughs> uh, tracks, not 100% sure what the real names are for them, but uh, one apparently is called Kangaroo Flat, and there's this other one that's just like a management track, we're going to do the track backwards, so what we did last time, because I've done the first half and took five hours, so I'm going to try and do the second half, and um, go from there, it's 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm surprised that we've actually packed up and got ready to go before 8, I said last night to everyone I wanted to leave at 8 o'clock, and we did, no one asked, we usually like pack up and leave and 
takes us like four hours. Hey, could you just muck around? Oh, I muck around. You do one little thing here, one little thing there. You're a dawdle up. Not a dawdle. Dawdle. <laughs> so, we're going to just head back down this lookout track, uh, make our way onto the main road. It takes us about half an hour to get there to the start of this track and see how we go. Had a good night last night around the fire, a few drinks. Heaps of fun. We've just done the first part. Now we're going to do the second part we haven't done. And then after this second part, we're going to do the part that we've done before. The one we did with Lockie that time. So, so far so good. No one's been stuck. We've plowed a few trees down to get around some stuff. We're going to definitely get stuck now that you've said that. <laughs> We know we're getting stuck in that seat for that last part. <laughs> we both yeah, know it. Yeah, I'm actually nervous for that run right bit. Especially because we're like, it's probably gotten 10 times worse. Yeah, probably. And it was bad then. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, hopefully the winch doesn't give away. We've never used it before. Oh, then you're just jinxing us all the time. <laughs> we'll be right. Alright, we'll take a left turn up here. Well, bit of panel damage. I got a bent side step that bent my car. Bent the bottom of my door of my car. Let's go have a look at that. I reckon. She was boggy, muddy, and huge ruts. Look at this. Big bend under there. Don't know how that happened. Must have been a big stick. Bent underneath the door. Tires just covered in mud.
there goes that. Just to add up, my old nade is dying on me. Well, it's died. So my batteries are not charging. So I'm trying to get my way to Grafton. Uh, just go to a car wash. I'm not going to wash the car. I'm just going to try and pressure clean the old nade to try and clear that out so I can get home. We just aired up enough air. The boys are in front now and they just aired up. We make our way to Grafton. Matt's got no brakes. He's like having to um, drill spongy and stuff, so it could be who knows, water or an air pocket or something in the in his brakes. So I'm gonna go to a super cheap. I'm gonna go to Woolive to go to the pub, but instead we decided we're gonna just make it just make it the trip to Grafton, so we're just a bit south of Grafton. And I'll pop top up my air, which will fix my alternator, and Matt will just bleed his brakes and get his brakes working again. It's a good trip. We bent a sidestep, did it underneath the door. Matt's bent his front fender, front, front panel. Smashed two wheel caps. Did he? Yeah, smashed two wheel caps on this on the driver's side. Yeah. I know. But yeah, it's a big day. We can see it like we started at eight.